Well, I know I'm kind of late getting this third installment uh, posted of the February 5th, 2009 Dan Connery show. Uh, I got extremely busy with uh, finishing up my private pilot's license and um, getting the voter fraud manual um, edited and published, uh, which put me off on a lot of projects that I'm meaning to get to, like just finishing um, getting this on the YouTube channel. Uh, real quick, before we get into part three of that uh, February 9th, or February 5th, 2009, Dan Connery show, I want to tell you uh, my other non political book, the uh, fantasy thriller The Storm Tower, is going to have uh, some deals available on my website, uh, danmcgrath.net. And also pop by there to see a new interview that I've just done with um, CT Politics uh, TV about some voter fraud in uh, Bridgeport, Connecticut and around the world uh, and um, about some subjects in, uh, in my book, The Voter Fraud Manual. So check out danmcgrath.net for those tidbits. And now here is the final part of the Dan Connery show from February 5th, 2009. Yeah, we know who's running the ship. We know who's out there leading the way. And uh, for those of you who want to hear that Nancy Pelosi clip again, Dan McGrath has found it. Uh, we do not have an economic recovery package. 500 million Americans lose their jobs. I don't think we can go fast enough uh, to, uh, to, to stop that. The president asked for action swift and bold, and that is what we are doing. Well, first of all, we got to tell the uh, Census Bureau to find 200 million Americans they haven't found. Clearly, Nancy has found them. Uh, once again, another government agency drops the ball. 200 million Americans they didn't count. What the heck is going on here, people? By the way, you know what uh, Obama, CEO, and only makes a year? About 400 grand. A couple of jets. Has a $50,000 a year uh, entertainment expense account. Um... Big 132-room uh, mansion called the White House. And he says, if you're going to be incompetent, you have to, we're going to cap you at 500000 a year if you're incompetent. So he's, he's below that cap. So he's good. So he can be as inept as he wants to be for the next four years. He's still below the cap. He's all right. The people have spoken. <laughs> we got some emails about digital converter boxes. Uh, here's one from Missy. I think there's a mother-in-law problem here. Or is this a mom problem? Let me check. Let me just make sure. that. Oh, yeah, it's a mother-in-law problem. These are biggies. I, I, I step on these carefully. Dan, thank you. I was ready to explode last night when I heard that the news, what is going on? There's no consequences for anything anymore. Government bailout? Oh, we still have to give out uh, bonuses, though, don't we? Uh, but if they want more money, they can get that. That's not a biggie. I didn't have enough month, uh, months to go around to get my converter box this gets personal to me because my mother-in-law is one of those people. She called last week asking my husband about which converter is better, meaning she doesn't have hers yet, um, although I sent her a an email with the Internet link to the coupon request form over six months ago. The government is helping everyone become dependent on them and dumbing everything down. Sorry for the rant, Missy. Missy, it's, it's acceptable. We're allowed to let you rant. That's why we're here. That's why Dano's here for you. You feel good when I talk to you. You feel cuddly. You feel cozy. Uh, she's exactly right about the consequences. And, Absolutely. And, and the spending goes on. Minnesota is a prime example of that right now with uh, 5.2 to $6.1 billion deficit. Our legislature is debating more spending bills, yep. Yep. which is exactly why we're going to that rally tonight down at Trocadero's, the uh, Budget Hawks. Yeah, the, the Budget Hawks. I was invited to that. I'm going to stop in at the Trocadero's tonight. In Minneapolis, uh, certainly the bastion of rational thought, that city. <laughs> <laughs> and um, here's uh, uh, Angela is going to correct me. Dan, you just said, it, it said if you make under a certain amount of money. Now, this is uh, I said that kind of a knee-jerk thing because I've always thought any assistance that you get, you've got to meet a certain economic criteria. You have to be in a certain position to receive aid. What was I thinking? Look at our uh, uh, Fortune 500 that are going to be taking TARP money. Dan, you just said if you make under a certain amount of money, you can get a coupon for the digital converter box. That's not the case. All they ask for is your name and your address. Then they ask if you have a cable, a cable satellite TV anywhere in your house. And if that's it, they will only give you two co coupons. But nowhere do they ask how much money you make. 
you can make big bucks and still get these coupons. Why? Why do you need coupons to go get these boxes? Why? Government subsidized antenna is basically what we're talking about exactly. here. And, you know, we had uh, Jerry from Buffalo call in before. I totally get his point. There are certain situations where uh, disasters do happen. Infrastructure might be destroyed to a certain degree. But we're talking well in the past, and and, and Jerry's talking about a signal problem that he might be having. Uh, I don't I don't think that's the problem. And I think there's some there's another issue there. But this um, "woe is me" type of mentality that is growing day by day by day. Uh, it's it's going to put us in a very very bad place, and uh, the the new the jobless numbers are going to be out this week. I know that for a fact. The markets are certainly going to react to that. Um, and this this gloom and doom, this woe is me, and you keep pushing it. Uh, look at how the market is reacting to President Obama. This is strictly married to President Obama. This is what's going on. Businesses are frightened. They're scared. They don't want to invest. And on top of that, now they've been just they they've they've hung a, a beautiful thing in front of their faces. How do they not try to go for it? Corporate America is is human nature. You mean it's free? You're going to bail me? You're going to help me out? And you you're going to give me money because uh, my business is not going? I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. But as my good friend Joe Metzler's from Mortgages Unlimited pointed out, yeah, there's some loopholes loopholes in that. So uh, be aware if the shareholders think that you're doing a fabulous job, you get more money. But the politicians get to stand up there behind their podiums, behind their. We did the right thing. We we are just so so good. I almost had Osama bin Laden. I almost had him. I was going to get him. Spare me, please spare me. And we're going to keep watching. We're going to keep pointing you out. You're in the great state of Minnesota, all over the country. We're going to watch you. Because you, the government, are now watching us, uh, our every move, dictating what we should do, when we should do it, how we should do it. We're going to watch you now. And there's people out there voting who are going to take advantage of uh, what is going to be a catastrophic failure. And I'm hoping my thinking friends out there will vote with their brain, not with their emotions, with their brain. You have to vote out liberalism. You have to get rid of this. You have to vote out socialism. We can do it. We can make it on our own. Some businesses will fail. That's part of the process. That's the capitalist society. Email from Joe. Danny Boy, I plugged in my digital converter yesterday. To my surprise and delight, the TV display is now 2% clearer. And I, and I have several more channels that is now nonstop infomercials. Dan, I have to be freakishly honest with you. I feel like I just instantly jumped into the future. It's eerie. <laughs> It's eerie. I really feel like I'm in an Alfred Hitchcock episode, and I'm just waiting for my TV to sprout legs and steal my wife from me. <laughs> oh, God bless you, Joe. I appreciate it, pal. Unplug the box before it's too late. No, please come to me. I'm seducing your wife. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, if you want to send us an email today, feel free to do it. Uh, it it's, uh, go to danconnery.com. You get all the email addresses. Uh, you can even e- email the lovely Jen, who puts up with my crap. And if you want to ask her any questions, feel free to do that. My friend Bill Snyder was going to be here today. I haven't mentioned him all day. Shame on me. Uh, he has had back surgery. He was going to pop in, but he uh, opted to take some really cool drugs last night. So no driving for Bill today. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. I was wondering about that. Yes, and uh, our uh, good thoughts to uh, Bill Snyder recuperating. He will be in here eventually. He's just got to kick this terrible drug habit he has now, and we'll just pray. <laughs> we'll just pray for him. Uh, show at DanConnery.com if you want to send us any emails while we're on the air. You know that. Um, uh, if, feel free to uh, pop in. We'll keep uh, tabs on Super Dave. Got to thank uh, uh, our good friend Dan McGrath today, who, uh, once again, we're going to be at Trocadero's tonight um, for the uh, Budget Hawks uh, gathering. And uh, what time does that kick off? 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock. It's on uh, 3rd in downtown Minneapolis. Yep, yep. And uh, that's going to be a good time. I, I, you know, there's, there is a lot of like-minded folks out there. And, and gatherings like this are going to get us together and start thinking and start cooperating and start sharing information and getting after some folks out there who are trying to do us harm, as far as I'm concerned. And the present administration uh, and the present legislature right now, they're going to do us harm. And a lot of folks out there just don't get it. Um, and um, we got some emails about the podcasts. Got some complaints about the podcasts. 
It's all going to be sorted out momentarily. That's all going to be hashed out today, kids. And uh, uh, Super Dave was sick, and uh, we were not able to get it up in a timely fashion. And uh, our good friend Dan McGrath stepping in, bailing, bailing us out once again. Tim Matthews, KRD, KRWC uh, correspondent, just a uh, big help today. Got to thank him as, as well. Don't say bail out. You know, I, sh- I you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm getting duped here. I'm getting, I'm sucked in. Uh, bailout I, mania. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting drawn into the Help language. No, oh, oh, thanks for the bailout on that. I appreciate that. <laughs> you mean I have to pay you back? This is outrageous. <laughs> outrageous, my friends. And um, now uh, we're working on a few technical things right now. We're still working on the website, and uh, the lovely Dawn and I are going to sit down and uh, uh, start chatting about the changes we're going to make it uh, on the uh, the front page there. Um, it's, but any suggestions you have, feel free to uh, send us an email. Uh, we'll take your uh, comments, criticisms. Uh, and compliments as well. I am shallow and uh, and uh, weak-willed, so I need all the support I can get right now. So uh, uh, it's dano at danconnery dot com, dano at danconnery dot com, and you can uh, email Super Dave and uh, and all the uh, great folks out there. Uh, the, the blog, Tom the Blog Bonnet, writing some good pieces on there. Dan, I don't know if you had a chance to look at any of those yet, but they're really good. And um, so feel free to sign on, kids, and uh, we're going to start uh, packing up, getting out of here. Uh, uh, well, we got about how many seconds we got left here? Uh, 30, 40. All right. Now, Dave usually plays my fun song, like, all the way out. It's really kind of fun. Yeah, which, which one's doing? Not my time, Three Doors Down. Oh, I was going to play Ain't Seen Nothing Yet, but okay. Uh, you know, no, take that, whatever one you want. You know, it's, you know, it, it's a little tradition we developed. See how much I miss Dave? It's just it's, when, I, when I'm off the uh, the radar with Dave, just I just don't feel right. I haven't had a Chamba Juice all day. haven't uh, think <laughs> it's just wrong. So, uh, all right, uh, good show today, gang. Appreciate all your time. Appreciate the calls, comments, and uh, go to danconnery.com. And you can also go to uh, uh, krwcam1360.com. They will have the web stream up live and running. And the podcast will be up. You have my word. Thanks to Dan McGrath. Uh, Nice job today, my friend, and uh, we'll keep you posted. We'll check in on Dave, see how he's doing today. Have a nice day, kids. Live from the bunkers of the Minnesota Majority, I am Dan Connery. We'll see you tomorrow.